Dear students, I am Dr. Archana Tiwari, Assistant Professor in Business Administration, SPC Government College, Ajmer. Today we are taking the topic Role of Sales Management, and this is the topic from the subject Sales and Distribution Management. So we have already uh, already discussed the meaning of sales management. as well as uh, what may be the features of sales management and today we are taking role of sales management as we all know that sales management is an important phenomenon in an organization's life cycle selling approach highlights good customer relationship earning profitability of a firm builds brand value and there are complex processes systems involving a whole set of principles strategies techniques and personal skills to cover different facts of sales function and the reason behind the growing prominence of sales staff in the organizational context is that sales staff is one of the most vital contact points with the customers even we can see the best marketing programs may fail if the sales staff is ineffective or they are improperly managed for many customers the sales staff represents the company and the impression is carries determines its future business relations with the customer and the term selling involves a variety of functions in different contexts and in different environments also there are situations where a sales person may have to perform the function of a delivery boy for a customer on a periodic basis The job of a sales manager is not only to organize sales but also to carry out management functions such as guiding and leading a set of people to achieve sales targets. Sales organizations are increasingly becoming dependent on the sales force due to various reasons. And of course the responsibility of the sales manager at higher levels are uh, very much increasing nowadays. Uh, they have to make strategic decisions such as organizing the sales force determining the sales force compensation structure forecasting long term sales and overall controlling of sales organizations so here uh, there may be so many functions or the role of uh, sales management but uh, the role of sales management professionals is multidisciplinary their primary responsibilities are number 1 is setting goals for a sales force or we can say goal setting is there to understand the role of sales manager in formulating goals one must first comprehend their position within the organization in fact sales management is just one factor of a company's overall marketing strategy a company's marketing program is represented by its marketing mix which encompasses strategies related to products price promotion and distribution objectives related to promotion are achieved through three supporting functions number 1 is advertising which include direct mail radio television and print advertisement among other media second we can take is sales promotion such as uh, contest and coupons and third one is personal selling which encompasses the sales force manager the overall goal setting of sales force manager are essentially mandated by the marketing mix the mix coordinates objectives between the major components of the mix within the context of internal constraints such as available capital and production capacity if we take the example the overall corporate marketing strategy may dictate that the sales force needs to increase its share of the market by 5% over 2 years it is the job of the sales force manager then to figure out how to achieve the directive so one of the most critical duties of the sales manager is to accurately estimate the potential of the company's offerings an important distinction exists between market potential and sales potential the former is total expected sales of a given product or service for the entire industry in a specific market over a stated period of time and sales potential refers to the share of a market potential that an individual 
oranges so uh, the first role of uh, sales management is goal setting number 2 we can take is planning budgeting and organizing after determining goals the sales manager must develop a strategy to attain them a very basic decision is where to hire a sales force or to simply contract with representatives outside the organization the type of sales force developed depend on the financial priorities and constraints of the organization if a manager decides to hire sales personnel he needs to determine the size of the force the determination typically entails a compromise between the number of people needed to adequately service all potential customers and the resources and which are made available by the company other decisions facing a sales manager about hiring an internal sales force are what degree of experience to seek and how to balance quality and quantity basically the manager can either make or buy his sales force young hires or those whom company makes costless uh over a long term and do not bring any bad sales habits with them that were learned in other companies also after determining the composition of the sales force the sales manager creates a budget or a record of planned expenses that is prepared annually the budget helps the manager decide how much money will he spend on personal selling and how that money will be allocated within the sales force so major budgetary items include sales force salaries commissions bonuses travel expense sales material uh, clerical services office rent so many budgets are prepared by simply reviewing an previous year's budget next thing is organizing a program also after sales force strategy has been devised a budget has been adopted the sales manager should early have the opportunity to organize or structure the sales force in general the hierarchy at large organizations include a national or international sales manager regional manager district managers and finally the sales force smaller companies may omit the regional and even the district management levels still a number of organizational consideration must be addressed for example should the force emphasis product geographic or customer specialization second thing is how centralized will the management will be then how many layers of management are necessary so these were the points related with the role of sales management the third point related with the role of sales management implementation and the fourth point uh, related with the role of sales management uh, like uh, controlling and evaluating will be discussed in the next lecture